Some of you ask me, did I, did I not do this video like a month ago? And yes, I did, but I recently learned how to do this uh, particular technique tutorial easier, more time efficient. So I'm gonna do a sort of like a part two slash updated version. And I'm also gonna answer one of the subscribers questions about footwork of how and what to do after the serve, you know, how to go back into playing position because I didn't do that last time. So yeah, part two, upload it, whatever you wanna call it. Yes, hello there, table tennis player. I'm Coach Eddie Zela, and welcome back to Dublin Table Tennis. Currently, we're in pandemic, so I'm by myself here. But nonetheless, like you saw in the spoiler little intro thingy, that I'm going to do a part two slash updated version of how to hold the pendulum grip and reverse pendulum grip uh, tutorial. So this is this, this grip applies for both of the techniques. And I'm also going to answer a comment, uh, subscriber's comment of how and what to do when you do the serve, so how you go back with your footwork into that playing uh, position. So I'll do those two things. Yeah, if you want to see more in depth of the grip, you can check out the part one, first version that I did on in the description. And yeah, please support the channel by subscribing. It costs you absolutely nothing. It makes my day. I hope you're well wherever you are. And let's get to it. So this is it world famous pendulum slash reverse pendulum how to hold grip tutorial so i'm right-handed so i'm going to take the racket in my left hand and with the right hand my playing hand i'm going to make a cartoonish but efficient high five with a thumb sticking out that's just step number one step number two is taking your racket and putting it on your thumb slash in between your index finger and the thumb right here so you're holding it just on the edge of the racket, like this. Step number two. Step number three is you take these three fingers, one, two, three, right here, and you're gonna tuck them away in your hand, in your palm, and, because uh, you don't need them. We are, really see you don't really need them in the advanced version. So that's step number three. And step number four is just making it flat, which now is your reverse slash pendulum grip for your serve. As you can see, your blade does not obstruct your wrist so you get as much spin as you can and you have a nice comfortable way to holding it for the advanced level if you feel like your grip is you know when you do your serve is slipping out for a little sturdy yeah i don't know if that's even a word but what you can do is a little cheeky thing that i do is i put my um middle finger right here between the rubber and the blade on this wing right here so that way when i do it it finds a bit more balance, a bit more grip on my racket, so I feel a bit more, a bit more efficient. But to have a loose and little spin on the ball, you do have to advance yourself and hold the rubber closer on the middle of the bat. That way you get a bit more faster, more flexible spin on the ball. But yeah, this is how we hold it. Before we continue on the football part of the video, I have to say a massive thank you for the newcomers and um, from the month of July, there's over 700 new subscribers uh, since last month. And that is absolutely ballistically amazing. I don't know what ballistically means or what term I'm trying to use it, but it's just insane. July, as, as performance-wise, it did absolutely out of the world. It break all the records. It has over 50,000 views in that one month and just, just insane. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. And yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Now. Let me reply to the comment on how and what to do after you finish your serve and how to return back into your position for the next shot. I'm right-handed, so I'm on the left side of the table. My left leg is sticking behind the table, which is still legal. My arm with the ball is coming behind the white line for legal purposes. I'll be nice and low. Both legs will be on my tippy toes, especially the right leg, which is the key to this. So it's gonna be, uh, you can face it, to the wall or you can just have a little bit sideways it's kind of up to you but your feet needs to be apart to get into that ready position in slow motion what's happening is that i'm throwing the ball i'm hitting it i'm using the hips to rotate so you'll see my shoulders from there to there and as i'm doing that my my right leg's heel is going up higher and i use the tippy toes to catapult myself back into the ready position so in slow motion it looks something like this
So yeah, player, that's it for me. That's it uh, to this tutorial, how to hold a racket for the pendulum reverse pendulum grip. And I hope I reply to that subscriber's comment on what to do and how to return back into your ready position. If you have any more suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe to this channel. That's the that's amazing support I can receive to keep going and get motivated into doing these videos. It just, it makes my day, makes my week. I don't even exaggerate when I say that. And then, yeah, wherever you are, stay safe and just play, have fun, and enjoy the game.